Breathe in. Hello again. Here we are. Another Friday. And we're looking forward to next week's film. Last week uh, was something of an adventure, was it not? Uh, yes. I don't know quite what to say about that. Uh, I won't spoil it if um, you haven't already seen it. Uh, but I had one or two, I thought, slightly risky moments in that. Uh, the problem was the surface I was walking on, uh, you couldn't stand still on it because you sank. So once committed to going forward, you had to keep going forward. Anyway, that's that. Uh, this coming week then, that's next Friday, we're going to be uh, looking again at canal. This, side, this time infrastructure. It's easy to think of canals as from destination to destination, Gloucester to Hereford. Uh, and indeed when it uh, first started that's what it was. Yeah. It was a place for the merchants of Hereford to get out to the big wide world, get to the Severn and Gloucester and off to the big wide world. But of course like railways where you have intermediate stations between destinations uh, the uh, canal saw no reason why they shouldn't make a bit of money from uh, roadside, if you like, from waterside establishments moving uh, all the uh, crops and uh, various wares, stone, coal, coal especially. Don't forget it was uh, the Industrial Revolution had kicked off and coal was driving everything and very expensive to get coal by road on panniers on a donkey whereas a barge could move huge amounts of coal so the price came down everybody was happy but uh, they had wayside stations what they called them wharfs of course being on the, uh, the waterway um, and I suppose the biggest difference between them and the railways was that the uh, canals didn't really carry passengers it was mainly uh, freight movement yeah, I dare say they did take one or two, but it wasn't the main route. Not like when the trains came along and uh, everybody went uh, on the train then to get from A to B. And now these places stopped off where they thought they could do some trade. And they had what's called wharfs. Uh, and they built those because you could pull up at the, at the canal and offload your goods perhaps. But you couldn't get too close to size because the, the canal base tend to taper. So you'd have to throw a plank and then you'd probably be blocking the stream, which meant that the other bargees then uh, were not happy. So you had wharfs. Uh, where you had a wharf, you had to have somebody to take care of it, a wharfinger. Um, you would normally have a chandler there for uh, repairs. Um, and you'd, you'd generally conduct some business there with the local people. So they tended to be where businesses or population uh, were, because the population meant that there was something being produced somewhere. It wasn't our holiday villages like it is now, regrettably. Uh, and so we're going to have a look then, see what we can find. Now, the places were reasonably well built, uh, especially the dwellings, of course, and they largely survived. Other buildings, um, well, if the use could be found for them, then they're, they're still around. Some of it's been levelled. Uh, the canal in most places really have filled in now. Uh, I suppose they, they naturally would silt up. Plus the dangers of having open water there from a safety point of view, animals and uh, livestock. But also, you want to get from A to B and you've got a canal in the way, you have to walk two miles or three miles or half a mile even to the nearest bridge kind of a pain in the neck so they got filled in uh, wasn't too difficult a job really because when they were built the spoil was put to the sides in the main so all you had to do when you want to fill it in again was push it all back in again job done not quite that easy but thereabouts um, uh, so finding canal in water is difficult although we do actually find one on this we do actually still find after 140 years after closure, the sections of this canal are still holding water. Uh, and I find that quite fascinating, really. So we're go hunting. We're on the um, Hereford to Gloucester Canal still. And we're at Withington. And we're going to see what we can find. Now, if you want to come on that lovely adventure, make sure you're here next Friday. Boots at the ready. Get your coat on. And we're going to see what we can see.